हाई फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू शंकर एन आई स्टडी सर्कल दिस इज डॉक्टर हरिनाथ रेड्डी टूडे इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द न्यू डिस्ट्रिक्ट विच वर क्रिएटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश एंड दिस वीडियो विल बी यूजफुल फॉर ए पी पी एस सी ग्रूप वन ग्रूप टू सब इंस्पेक्टर एंड कॉन्स्टेबल एंड अदर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स इन द स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश सो लेट्स टेक अप द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स बिफोर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन असेंबली एलेक्शन्स जगनमोहन रेड्डी हैड प्रॉमिस दैट इज द प्रेजेंट चीफ मिनिस्टर वेन ही इज द लीडर ऑफ अपोजिशन ही प्रॉमिस दट इफ वाई एस आर सी पी वॉज वोटेड टू पवर इट वुड क्रिएट न्यू डिस्ट्रिक्ट बेस्ड ऑन पार्लियामेंट्री कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसीज सो दिस इज ए राइट स्टेटमेंट आंध्र प्रदेश हैज ए टोटल ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स लोकसभा कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसीज दिस इज रॉन्ग आंध्र प्रदेश हैड ए टोटल ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव लोकसभा कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसीज सो द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ प्रेजेंट आंध्र प्रदेश हैड प्रॉमिस दट ही विल क्रिएट डिस्ट्रिक्ट इक्वल इन टू द नंबर ऑफ लोक सभा कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसीज बट ही फाइनली क्रिएटेड ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिस्ट्रिक्ट इंस्टेड ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव बिकॉज फॉर द ट्राइबल्स इन नॉर्थ कोस्टल आंध्रा इंस्टेड ऑफ वन बिकॉज ऑफ लार्ज साइज टू डिस्ट्रिक्ट वर क्रिएटेड सो द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट आंध्र प्रदेश हैज ए टोटल ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स लोकसभा कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी दिस इज इन करेक्ट द स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश नव हैज अ ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिस्ट्रिक्ट विच इज डबल द अर्लियर नंबर ऑफ थर्टीन सो द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट सो फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट सो द आंसर इज वन एंड थ्री विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज एन इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट सी द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट विजयनगरम डिस्ट्रिक्ट हैज बीन बाइफरकेटेड टू क्रिएट द न्यू टोटली ट्राइबल डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ पार्वती पुरमान्यम so this is a correct statement so out of the two tribal districts in the state of andhra pradesh one is parvati puram manyam and it has been carved out of the erstwhile vijayanagaram district and this is a right statement from visakhapatnam two new districts of anakapalli and allur sita ramaraju have been carved out this is also a right statement from visakhapatnam two new districts of anakapalli and alluri sita ram raju were created guntur district has been split into three with the two new districts of palnadu and bapatla along with the existing guntur this is also a right statement the existing district of east godavari has been split into two no it's not two it is three the fourth statement is incorrect the existing district of east godavari has been split into three not two and uh, east godavari itself with rajamahendravaram as the headquarters is one district and in addition to that two more new districts were created that is kakinada and uh, konasima districts so the fourth statement is incorrect which one of the following is a correct statement eluru has been carved out of west godavari district this is a right statement sri satya sai district has been taken out of anantapuram district this is also a right statement Shri Balaji district has been carved out of Chitur this is also correct so in the question what is asked is correct statement all the above statements were correct consider the following statements the new district of ntr has been created out of the existing krishna district this is true annamayya district has been carved out of kadapa this is also correct of course annamayya district has got certain regions from chitur district as well but it has been basically carved out of kadapa district so both statements were correct but what is asked in the question is incorrect statement so neither one nor two both are incorrect so none of them is incorrect so the answer is neither one nor two identify the incorrect pair so this question is related to the district and the headquarter of the district alluri sita ramaraju district has its headquarters at padeeru this is a right statement dr b r ambedkar konasima district has its headquarters at amalapuram this is also right west godavari the newly created west godavari district will have his headquarters at bhimavaram that is also correct 
ఎన్టీఆర్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఈజ్ క్రియేటెడ్ విత్ విజయవాడ యాజ్ ద హెడ్ క్వార్టర్ నాట్ ది మచిలీపట్నం సో ఎన్టీఆర్ మచిలీపట్నం ఈజ్ ఇన్ కరెక్ట్ పేర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద కృష్ణా డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ విచ్ హ్యాజ్ ఇట్స్ హెడ్ క్వార్టర్స్ అట్ మచిలీపట్నం అట్ మచిలీపట్నం ఎన్టీఆర్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ హ్యాజ్ ఇట్ హెడ్ క్వార్టర్స్ ఇన్ విజయవాడ సో ద ఫోర్త్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ కరెక్ట్ పేర్ కన్సిడర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ ప్రకాశం ఈజ్ ద లార్జెస్ట్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఇన్ ఏరియా వైల్ విశాఖపట్నం ఈజ్ ద స్మాలెస్ట్ so this is the right statement after the creation of new districts in the state of andhra pradesh earlier vishaka used to be the largest district in area but because of reorganization of the districts now in andhra pradesh prakasham is the largest district in area while vishakhapatnam is the smallest in area <clears throat> then nellore is the most populous district whereas parvatipuram manyam is the least populous district so this is both statements were correct only so the answer is both one and two which one of the following is an incorrect statement at the time of independence the present day andhra pradesh was a part of madras state yes this is a correct statement so when india got independence on 15th august 1947 we didn't have the state of or the modern Andhra Pradesh. But uh, at that point of time, the two Telugu-speaking areas of Telangana and coastal, uh, not Telangana, Raya Seema and coastal Andhra. At the time of independence, the two Telugu-speaking regions of Raya Seema and coastal Andhra Pradesh, they were part of Madras state. So at the time of independence, the present, the present Andhra Pradesh was part of Madras state. This is perfectly correct statement. Coastal Andhra and Raya Seema were separated from Madras state to form Andhra state in 1953. This is also a correct statement. So because of the sacrifice made by Putti Sri Ramlu, the Telugu speaking areas of Raya Seema and Coastal Andhra were separated from Madras state in 1953. On 1st November, Andhra state and the Telangana region of Hyderabad state were merged to form the United Andhra Pradesh. This is also correct. <coughs> Andhra Pradesh, which formed in 1956, had 10 districts. This is not correct. So, this is incorrect statement because there were 11 districts at the time of formation of Andhra Pradesh in 1956. They are Anantapuram, Chittur, East Godavari, Guntur, Kadapa, Krishna, Karnul, Nellur, Shrikakulam, Vishakapatanam, West Godavari. So when the state of Andhra Pradesh was created in 1956 by merging the Andhra state with Telangana, there were 11 districts, not 10 districts. So the fourth statement is incorrect. And consider the following statements. Prakasham district was created out of parts of Guntur district, Shri Putti Shri Ramulu Nellur district and Karnul district in 1970. So this is a right statement. So, Prakasham district was created for the first time in 1970 by taking out of some regions of Guntur, Nellur and Karnul. Vijayanagaran district was created out of parts of Vishakapatnam district and Shrikakulam district in 1979. So, this is also a right statement. So, correct statement it means both 1 and 2. Identify the incorrect pair, district and its headquarter. So, Krishna district has its headquarters in Machili Patnam, not Vijayawada. It is the NTR district which has its headquarters in Vijayawada, so the first pair is incorrect pair. Palanadu, Narsaravpeta, this is the right statement. Annamaya district has its headquarters at Rayachoti, that is also correct. Sri Satyasai district has its headquarters at Puttaparthi. So second, third and fourth were, in, were correct pairs. The first one is an incorrect pair. How many states border with the state of Andhra Pradesh. So here you can see the map of Andhra Pradesh. Here we have Odisha towards north and northeast. Chhattisgarh has a border. Telangana has border with Andhra Pradesh. Karnataka has got a border. Tamil Nadu also has got a border. So there are a total of five states which have a border with uh, the state of Andhra Pradesh. So the answer is five. <coughs> see the total number of districts having coastline in Andhra Pradesh. So if you take all the or if you take all the 26 districts in the state of Andhra Pradesh, 12 districts they have a coastline. It is 12 out of 26 districts which have a coastline. 
here you can see the map starting from Shrikakulam, Vijayanagaram, Vishakapatanam, Anakapalli, Kakinada, Konasima, West Godavari, Krishna, Bapatla, Prakasham, Shri Putti Sri Ramulu Nellur district, Tirupati. So these are the 12 districts which have got a coastline in the state of Andhra Pradesh. So the 12 districts of coastal Andhra having a coastline are West Godavari, Krishna, Nellur, Prakasham, Bapatla, Kakinada, Konasima, Shrikakulam, Vijayanagaram, Vishakapatnam, Anakapalli, Shri Balaji district. Which of the following districts of Andhra Pradesh have a border with the state of Andhra Pradesh? See in the recent TSPSC Group 1 prelims exam, questions have come uh, uh, in the Telangana Group 1 exam. So what are the districts in Telangana having a border with uh, Karnataka? So similar questions might come in the APPSC Group 1 prelims exam and that's the reason why these questions are framed. So if you see the map here, this is the state of Odisha. Here you can see Shrikakulam, Parvati Puram Manyam, Alluri Sita Ramaraju. These are the three districts which have a border with Odisha. So the answer is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 and 3. Vijayanagaram does not have a border with the state of Odisha. So here you can see Vijayanagaram does not have a border with the state of Odisha. Then question number 13. Which of the following districts of Andhra Pradesh do not have a coastline? Guntur, East Godavari, Eluru, NTR district, Palnadu, Chittur. See remember here, none of these districts have a coastline. None of these districts have a coastline. For example, see Guntur. Guntur districts, it is a landlocked. It doesn't have a coastline. Earlier, it had a coastline, but not now. And again, East Godavari, you can see here very clearly, East Godavari even again does not have a coastline because from East Godavari, we have carved out Kakinada as a separate district and Kakinada has a coastline, but not East Godavari. And similarly, Eluru and NTR districts. See here, Eluru. Eluru again does not have a border with a coastline. And then NTR district, again, it's not located on the coastline. In Palnadu Chittur again, Palanadu. So here you can see Palanadu district, it's away from coastline. Palanadu, even Chittur, Chittur, it's away from the coastline. It is Tirupati district or Balaji district which has a coastline but not Chittur. So don't get carried away. Earlier, these, some of these districts had a coastline but after the reorganization of the new districts, the, all of these districts do not have a coastline right now. So the answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All the 6 districts which are mentioned here do not have a coastline. <coughs> which of the following districts of Andhra Pradesh do not have a border with a neighboring state? See YSR Kadapa, if you see the map, YSR Kadapa is surrounded by 6 districts of the state of Andhra Pradesh. And it is landlocked. It doesn't have any border with a neighboring state. Even Guntur and East Godavari. You can see Guntur. Guntur again, it is a landlocked. In the sense, it is surrounded by other districts of Andhra Pradesh. It doesn't have any border with a neighboring district. Same is the case with East Godavari. So you can see in the map, East Godavari again is landlocked. It doesn't have any border with a neighboring state. So these are the t these are the three districts in Andhra Pradesh, YSR Kadapa, Guntur, East Godavari. YSR Kadapa, Guntur and East Godavari. All these three districts do not have a border with the neighboring state. And remember they also do not have any coastline as well. So the answer is all the above. Which of the following districts of Andhra Pradesh have a border with Karnataka? Karnataka state. So here you can see the map here. So this is Karnataka. Here Karnul, Anantapuram, Satyasai district, Annamaya, Chittur. All these five districts they had a border with Karnataka. See Karnul, Anantapuram, Satyasai, Annamaya, Chittur. 
these are the five districts which have a border with Karnataka state. Please have a look at the map of Andhra Pradesh. Otherwise, you will, you will not answer questions on the map that easily. Then, so as I said, all these five questions, they have a border with the state of Karnataka. The total number of districts in Andhra Pradesh having a border with the state of Telangana. The total number of districts in Andhra Pradesh having a border with the state of Telangana, it is a seven districts. Seven districts have a border with the state of Telangana. Here you can see in the map, Karnul, Nandial, Prakasham, Palnadu, NTR, Eluru, Alluri, Sita, Ramaraju. So these are the seven districts which have a border with the state of Telangana. Which of the following districts of Andhra Pradesh have a border with the Chhattisgarh state? Again, see the map of India, map of Andhra Pradesh. See here you can see Alluri Sita Ramaraju is the only district in Andhra Pradesh which has a border with Chhattisgarh. So the answer is Alluri Sita Ramaraju. The number of districts having a border with YSR Karpa district. So here there are six districts surrounded by YSR Karpa. Nandyal, Anantapuram, Satya Sai, Annamaya, Potishri Ramulu, Nellur, Prakasham. These are the six districts surrounding YSR Karpa districts. So six districts have a border with YSR Karpa district. The total number of revenue divisions in the state of Andhra Pradesh, it is 74 now. So the last two revenue divisions created were Kottapeta Revenue Division of East Godavari District and Piluvindula Revenue Division of YSR District. Which one of the following is an incorrect statement? After the Treaty of Shirangapatnam, the Nizam of Hyderabad acquired the Karpa District. This is right. He then later on gave it to British in 1800 and in 1808 it was divided to form Kadapa and Ballari District. So this was a right statement. The district headquarters were, was situated in Siddhavatam but later moved to Kadapa in 1820. This is incorrect. Initially, the headquarters of Kadapa were uh, Siddhavatam. Later on, it was moved to Kadapa in 1812, not 1820. On 19th August 2005, the nomenclature of Kadapa was changed to uh, Kadapa by the government of AP. This is right statement. It was renamed as YSR district during the year 2020 in honor of Vice Rajasekhar. This is also correct statement. The incorrect statement is the second one. The district headquarters were moved to Siddhavatam, were moved to Kadapa from Siddhavatam in 1812, not 1820. So that's it about the multiple choice questions on new districts in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Thank you.